What's up, guys? I wanted to make a video tonight because phone flipping has been on my mind tonight, um, specifically over ads. And, you know, I've just been thinking about my time in phone flipping. And um, I really just wanted to give back in this video <clears throat> and really show you guys how to build, you know, a campaign from, uh, from scratch, um, your very first uh, campaign. So um, I'm just going to, you know, get right into it. Uh, if you guys like this type of stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, but I'm just going to get right into it. I'm not going to you know, give a big intro or anything like that. <clears throat> so um, the way, guys, that we create a phone flipping campaign. Um, first, you need an ads manager. Um, pretty easy to set up. Literally just go to facebook.com slash ads manager and uh, you'll be able to set it up. You're also going to need a Facebook page. Uh, that's also very easy to set up. Um, and yeah. So let's just go ahead and create it, right? Let's go to create. And then uh, we're always going to want to do messages. So go to continue. And now I personally always do campaign budget optimization because um, it gives a little bit more control to me. <clears throat> and I always make the daily budget $5. So that's it for here. We're going to go next. Okay. And now we want to choose the page. You're only going to have one. I'm just going to, uh, you know, choose one that, that I have here and uh, kind of go with that. So what we're going to do is uh, choose our page. We're going to go down. We're optimizing for conversations. Now we need to choose our area. Okay. So go here. And I now live in Clute, Texas. So I'm gonna put that in. Gives me a 25 mile radius, about 127 to 149,000 people, not bad. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to turn off detail targeting right here. We want this turned off, okay? Now in the past, we used to target phones like this, okay? So this is how we used to do it, okay? So um, things are a little different now. Um, there's a little bit more, uh, you know, targeting to this. And I'm about to show you guys. This is pretty cool. Um, this is the stuff that, you know, we used to give in the courses and different things like that. So let me, um, okay. So what you're going to want to do <clears throat> is you're going to want to, so it's usually defaulted to automatic placements right here. You're going to want to turn on manual placements right there and go to all devices, edit, and turn off desktop. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down, see more. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh yeah. So it, there's gonna be this hide options thing. You're gonna to go to show more options. You're gonna go here to edit devices all, all of that. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to click, uh, you know, we'll start with iOS devices. Okay. Now, what you can do here, guys, is you can, you know, you can target all of this if you want to, right? It's going to show you the estimated audience size down here of what that would be, right? Another thing that you can do is if you only, you know, want to target newer phones, which, by the way, will increase the cost per message, just so you know, less people have newer phones, right? So let's do iPhone. Um, can we target 13? Yeah. So let's go, let's start with the 13, right? We'll just go here and um, I'm going to pause this um, while I'm putting all of them in here. Okay. Just one second. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I have put in here all of the ones I want all the way up from iPhone 11 or 13 to uh, iPhone X. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next. Okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to upload a photo. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's upload a photo. Let's go ahead and upload. Let's do this one. <clears throat> so you're going to have to upload photos so that you'll be able to use them. Now, the next thing we want to do is uh, create an ad copy. So I'm going to create one here for you guys real quick. Um, it's going to be very, very simple, um, but it does work. So looking to... Uh, do a Tim. Hey, let's do Clute, Texas. Let's, hey, Clute, we are looking to buy <clears throat> iPhone X and newer. 
Samsung, let's do newer Samsung Galaxies. Okay. Um, MacBooks, you always want to put these in there, right? Um, just to do it. But MacBooks, iPads, smart watches, and more. And I always like to put up here at the very top, used, damaged, broken. Now guys, I'm gonna show you guys a super ninja move that um, I don't think anybody else in the industry has used. So there's a website that I use, it's called um, uh, yaytext.com. So what you can do is you can change the font of your Facebook ad. So for example, if we wanted to put all of this in bold, we could, right? So let's go here and paste it, paste. That way it stands out among the crowd on the Facebook ads because you know, all of the, all of the text on Facebook ads looks the same, right? Typically. Now, if you have one that has you know, a different type of font, that's different, right? So paste, boom, looks different. It's gonna show up different over here uh, in a minute. <clears throat> just like that that looks different right so that's one thing you want to do and then what we're going to do right here is we're going to type sell my device now i usually add an emoji here at the end you can do that if you want um this is just a basic overview of all of this um but that's usually what i do i just don't want to go and grab one and then what you're gonna do after that, guys, is you're going to go to start conversations. You're gonna to go to edit. <clears throat> and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in sell my phone, sell my MacBook slash laptop, sell my game console, sell my, sell something else, something, right? And then what you'll do down here is you'll, you'll type, what device are you looking to sell? Any issues with it? Those are typically the only two questions I ever ask uh, simply because that's all I really need to know to make an offer. That's it. So I don't have any fan. I, I use fancy bots in the past. Um, I found out that they just weren't necessary. So, um, you know, that's just something to remember. Okay. And then you'll save and finish. Now what you're going to do guys is you're going to go here and we need to let's see what this error is. Okay. It looks like it went away. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to duplicate and then we're going to click four or we're going to type in four if we need four duplicated ones because all we're going to do now is we're going to switch out the photos so we just created four different ads that look the exact same okay and now what we need to do is just change out the photo so just go here and change out the photo we're going to go to this little trash can add media add media add image add a photo, just like that, done. We're gonna to go to the next one. We're not gonna publish yet. Because <clears throat> you'll publish all of them here in a second. Uh, boom. Done. Two more. And notice how simple these ads are, guys. They're stupid simple. Stupid simple. Now, we don't use anything fancy. I never have. I notice that the crappier the ads are, the better they do, typically. The more professional that they were, the worse they did. So people are so used to looking at professional ads all day long um, that when a crappy ad actually comes across their feed, they actually pay attention. That's my personal opinion on it. So now what you're gonna do after you have all five photos, you're gonna to go to this big X up here, close, and then you're going to publish draft items. And that will publish all of them at the exact same time, just like that. And voila, you have created your first phone flipping campaign. That's all it takes. Congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back. Um, now I am tinkering with uh, releasing um, the little course that I had on, on, on paid ads. If you want that, feel free to DM me on Facebook. Um, I'll sell it to you at a pretty discounted price. Uh, it does go over more than just this because uh, there are uh, more things to this. So 
you know, feel free at, you know, I don't, I'm not going to like drop a link. I don't think I'll drop a link. I don't know. We'll see. But um, this is how you start first Facebook ad guys. Um, for all of you guys who are trying to get into the space of, um, you know, form flipping, this is how you start the easiest campaign ever. Okay. And as always, guys, it is a pleasure um, to help you guys. And I hope you guys got a lot of value from this video. Let me know in the comments below um, if you got value from this video. And um, I am looking forward to uploading a whole bunch of value-packed videos. You guys have a fantastic evening. And uh, until next time.